There is no feeling of freedom quite like when you get to put furniture in your home for the very first time. You get to inject your taste, your aesthetic, and your lifestyle into the living space you've purchased. From the color of the walls to the fabric on the couch to the places the dust bunnies will be able to hide, it's all up for you to determine. That being said, filling your home with necessary furniture that reflects your aesthetic doesn't come cheap. And if you're anything like me, and you have a certain proclivity for the finer things in life, the cost of your furniture can really pile up. But how much can some wood that's slapped together in a fancy way really cost you? Well, today we're going to find out because we're going to take a look at the most expensive furniture ever sold. Harrington Commode five million dollars. When you hear the name Chippendale, you're probably either thinking of the famous furniture designer, two Disney chipmunks, or some chiseled guys dancing. And though it'd be thrilling to educate you on the latter, today we're talking about furniture. Thomas Chippendale was a cabinet maker and furniture designer whose work shaped the world of interior design so much they are still replicated to this very day. Even though old Thomas Chippendale passed away back in 1779, average furniture that harkens back from the 17th hundreds is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. But if you can find a Chippendale, well, then you'll never have to work another day in your life. In 2010, a Chippendale cabinet dubbed the Harrington Commode went to auction. The piece was estimated to sell for between 600,000 and 1 million pounds. But if there's one thing Chippendale always did, it was surpass expectations. The Harrington Commode ended up selling for a whopping 3.79 million pounds, which translates to just around 5 million US dollars. The Harrington Commode was crafted using tulip wood, rosewood, and yellow wood, and features an engraved medallion which is surrounded by floral borders and includes a bell flower inlay. Antique Secretary Desk, $11.4 million. Picture the scene. You're a merchant in a colony controlled by Britain. You're kind of peeved about this whole taxation without representation thing people have been carrying on about, and you need a desk to write some strong worded letters on. Well, what is a gentleman to do? Well, you could always purchase a desk made by John Goddard. John Goddard was a Quaker who was known for making block front designed furniture, which sells for quite a pretty penny. If you could go back in time and get John to craft you a desk, you could sell it today for a couple million dollars easy. Back in 1989, a Goddard and Townsend desk crafted in 1760 sold for a whopping $11.4 million making it the most expensive piece of American furniture ever sold. The desk, known as the Goddard and Townsend Secretary Desk, stands at around 9 feet tall and is only one of nine known to exist. Pre-revolutionary furniture in general is hard to come by, so a solid mahogany desk expertly crafted by one of the most recognized artisans of that era is even more rare. The Dragon's Chair If there was an award for the coolest named piece of furniture on this list, the Dragon's Chair would take the cake. It is one of the most expensive pieces of furniture ever sold, and it is the most expensive chair ever sold, with an astounding price tag of $27.8 million. I'm sure your imagination is running wild. Perhaps it's shaped like a dragon's mouth and studded with diamonds. Well, surely it must be handcrafted from petrified wood and chiseled sapphires. Well, I'm sorry if this disappoints at all, but the chair is in fact none of those things. In fact, the material used on the chair is fairly plain. However, the hands that the chair has passed through are anything but. The Dragon's Chair was crafted between 1917 and 1919 by famous designer Eileen Gray, who is regarded as a leading pioneer of the modernist movement in design and architecture. Eileen took a fierce interest in Japanese lacquerware and trained with an expert, Seizo Sugawara, to perfect the art form. Eileen took her knowledge of lacquerware and put it to good use on the dragon's chair, which she created for Suzanne Talbot. The chair is crafted with leather made to resemble unfurling petals. The frame is crafted with sculpted, lacquered wood made to resemble two serpentine dragons who are intertwined. The dragons are embellished with clouds, hearkening back to Eileen's love of Japanese design. The chair passed from the hands of Parisian art dealer Cheska Valois to the hands of Yves Saint Laurent. In 2009, it was auctioned off at Christie's Auction House in Paris, where it was expected to fetch between two to three million dollars. But shockingly, it sold for nearly ten times that, when it was purchased once again by Valois for a whopping 
$33.8 million. Pershing Rug, $33.8 million. Now, I might break the rules a bit here, and I do hope you'll bear with me a little bit. I know we're talking about the most expensive furniture ever sold, and a rug is technically a furnishing, but as the dude would say, it can really tie a room together, man. And frankly, the Clark Sickle Leafs rugs selling price of $33.8 million alone should gain it the rightful privilege to be on this list. That's right, a rug, and not even a large one, sold for $33.8 million. The rug was originally crafted in the 17th century and is believed to have been hand-woven in Kerman, which is a mountainous province in Iran. The name Clark Sickle Leaf Rug is attributed to the distinct gold sickle leaf pattern that is woven into the intricate rug. The rug is a Kerman rug, which are known for having soft color and naturalistic designs. One thing that makes this rug unique, however, is the bright red coloring. While red is often used in these rugs, this is believed to be the vase technique carpet that has a red ground. Additionally, the dark blue border makes this rug truly stand out from the crowd. The rug was originally obtained by William A. Clark and placed in Washington's Corcoran Gallery of Art. When the gallery released the item, it was sold by Sotheby's in New York, where it was expected to fetch around $10 million. However, the anonymous bidder who eventually purchased the rug wasn't going to let it go without a fight. After 10 minutes of intense bidding, the rug was sold for $33.8 million, setting a record for the most expensive rug and also the most expensive piece of Islamic art ever sold. The Bad Mitten Cabinet, $36.7 million. And finally, we've reached the most expensive piece of furniture ever sold. And my, is it a doozy. The Bad Minton Cabinet, or Bad Minton Chest, was auctioned off in 2004 and was sold for an insane $36.7 million. Just let that one sink in for a moment. The Bad Minton Cabinet was commissioned way back in 1726 by the third Duke of Beaufort, Henry Somerset, and the task of making it wasn't simple. The cabinet took a team of 30 skilled experts over six years to make, which, quite frankly, I can't even imagine. With the way my tastes change, who knows if I'd even like the style by the time it landed on my doorstep. Although it's rather hard to hate on a piece of furniture this stunning. The cabinet is 12 feet tall and about 7 feet wide. The ebony chest is inlaid with amethyst, lapis lazuli, agate, and quartz. Quite an assortment of semi-precious stones, if you ask me. The top of the cabinet features an impressive clock face that is marked with fleur-de-lis and flanked on either side by gilded statues. Above the clock is a rather astounding gilded coat of arms, which makes for an impressive piece fit for a royal. Despite what the name may imply, this cabinet wasn't for storing badminton rackets. It remained at the Duke's county seat, Badminton House, for over two centuries, which resulted in the rather unusual name. The cabinet was first sold in 1990, when it was auctioned off by Christie's for $16.59 million. And in 2004, the piece was sold yet again, this time shattering world records by selling for $36.7 million. So, there you have it, the most expensive furniture in the world. Which one of these did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and maybe turn on post notifications. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip to doodly-doo.